Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. This is Jamie. Today I'm doing a tutorial on how to use the web UI plugin of the latest freestyle dashboard. If you haven't got your freestyle dash yet, you can might you might as well get it from realmodscene.com, which I have a link below the description. The reason I'm doing this tutorial is because the the plugin is extremely useful, but many of us don't know how to utilize the feature. What this plugin does is it connects your freestyle dash to your computer through an IP address. So the first step of this tutorial would be getting your getting the IP address of your console. First off, move over to your freestyle dashboard which will probably look like this. Once you're on your dashboard Look over to your bottom left corner of your screen and you'll see an IP address of your console. Remember that and then move back to your computer, open your browser and in the search bar type in the IP address that you've seen on your console. In my case which is 192.168.1.101. Click enter and you arrive at the login page of the Freestyle 3 web UI site. The user ID and the password is the same with is F3 HTTP. Once you've typed that in, click login. Okay, so this is the home page of the web UI site. In the home page you'll see the gamer profile that you're currently signed in. Mine isn't signed in, but that doesn't matter. Okay, we're done with home page, now to debug info. Under debug info you'll see version info and debug log. I'll just leave debug log where it is because I'm not sure what it does, so let's go over to version info. Here at version info, you'll be able to check your dash version, skin version, plugin version, and most importantly, kernel version. We're done. Once we're done with this, we'll go to setting manager. Below, below it, you'll see view scan paths and view database. Let's click on view scan paths. Scan paths is where freestyle will read your games from. Here's an example of my scan paths. Here is the current scan paths which gives you the options to either scan or remove the scan path. You can also scan all scan scan all the, of the paths at the same time. Below you'll see add paths which allows you to add, manually add game paths to your freestyle dash. Okay, we're, once this is pretty much it for game paths, let's move over to game list. Under game list you'll see 360 games, arcade games, homebrew, emulators, classic games and hidden games. Let's start with 360 games. It's taking longer than usual. Okay, here is a list of my games. I'll just randomly click one to show you how to customize the game's details. Let's just click Advanced Warfare. Once you've clicked it, you most likely arrive at the game details page. Here you can do tons of stuff like changing title of your game or the name of your game and also adding description to your game. You can type whatever you like or cool stuff into your description. This does an important developer depends if you like to add developer into it just add it 
executable I wouldn't touch that because that is set at the default below the executable you will see content location which lets you place the game in different directories <coughs> for example if you think that the advanced warfare should be a live arcade games you can just select XBLA for the content location of the game if you want to hide the game just click hide game okay let's just set it back to 360 okay below you'll see couple of stuff tons of stuff that you'll be able to customize yourself such as the game icon banner box art the full box art or background image which you can download from the internet and then insert it onto your freestyle dash you can also access your game screenshots from this tab advanced warfare screenshots once you've done with the customizing Click save details and it will be saved at the same time on your freestyle dashboard. Okay, the last thing commands. Oh, wait. These are basically the same thing as the 360 games except hidden games. Hidden games is where you'll see the games that you decided to hide under the content location let's just check on my hidden games okay here are my hidden games if sometimes you can find your games maybe they're just hidden or maybe you just click wrongly at the game details page okay this is done we're at the last tab which is commands there's two options for commands which is basic and advanced in the basic you'll be able to take screenshots of your freestyle dash at the moment let's just try screenshot my freestyle dash here here is a screenshot of my freestyle dash at the moment you can download it whatever just it's a really cool feature because it allows you to you, you can maybe screenshot your Xbox and show it to your friends and whatever click back now to the advanced commands here you can re you can either restart your freestyle dash or also shut down your Xbox okay that's pretty much it hope you like this tutorial video uh, if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comments please like and subscribe if you think this tutorial video is helpful and meaningful uh, 